हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इजी शॉर्ट्स ऑफ लर्निंग टू डेज वीडियो इज अबाउट प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इंटर प्रोसेस प्रॉफिट व्हिच मींस इफ द आउटपुट ऑफ एनी प्रोसेस इज ट्रांसफर टू नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस दे आर जनरली ट्रांसफर एट द कॉस्ट प्राइस बट हियर बाय एडिंग प्रॉफिट ऑन द कॉस्ट प्राइस दैट बिकम्स द ट्रांसफर प्राइस एंड ऑन ट्रांसफर प्राइस द प्रॉफिट इज ट्रांसफर टू नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस so the transfer price has two elements number one is the cost price and another one is the profit profit may be on the cost price or it may be on the transfer price so with the help of an example we understand the concept of inter process profit and how the process accounts are prepared and profit is calculated in this concept so friends if you have not yet subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and if you have any query related to this topic please write me in the comment box let's start with now here the product passes through three processes before completion process a process b and process c and the output of process c is transferred to finish stock account the output of each process is transferred to the next process at a price calculated to give a profit of 20% on transfer price here the profit is calculated on transfer price and transfer price includes cost price plus profit so here the profit is on the transfer price not on the cost price the output of process c is transferred to finish stock on the similar basis it means after the output is transferred from process c to the finish goods it is also transfer at 20% of transfer price the closing stock of each process has been valued at prime cost now what do you mean by the prime cost prime cost means those cost or expenses that are directly associated with the production that is direct material direct wages direct expenses so the cost of closing stock is calculated on the basis of the prime cost the individual expenses related to the process account includes number 1 material costing rupees 4000 in process a 6000 in process b and 2000 rupees in process c labor cost or wages paid to the labor amounted to 6000 in process a 4000 in process b and 8000 rupees in process c the closing stock is also given which is 2000 in process a 4000 in process b 6000 in process c and the unsold goods which are remained in finished stock account which is 4000 rupees now the sales during the year is 36000 and we have to prepare process account and finished stock account so first we have to prepare the process a account so the format in inter process profit comprises of particulars cost profit and total on the debit side and the same columns on the credit side and all expenses are debited in the process account so our first expense is material to material costing rupees 4000 to labor or the wages paid to the labor costing rupees 6000 these expenses does not have any profit element that's why we do not write anything in the profit column now the total of material and labor comprises of the prime cost prime cost is 10000 in the cost column and it is same because there is no profit element so 10000 in the total column now the closing stock is shown in the credit side of the process account but here closing stock in the inter process profit we deduct the closing stock from the prime cost so when we subtract the closing stock first we have to write the closing stock in the total column which is 2000 now we calculate the cost of closing stock with the help of an uh, formula that is 2000 divided by 
टोटल ऑफ प्राइम कॉस्ट विच इज टेन थाउजेंड एंड मल्टीप्लाइड विद कॉस्ट ऑफ प्राइम कॉस्ट विच इज ऑल्सो टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज सो द कॉस्ट ऑफ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इज ऑल्सो टू थाउजेंड बिकॉज देर इज नो प्रॉफिट एलिमेंट इन द क्लोजिंग स्टॉक नाउ वी राइट टू थाउजेंड इन द कॉस्ट कॉलम एंड आफ्टर सब्ट्रैक्टिंग क्लोजिंग स्टॉक वी गेट कॉस्ट ऑफ दिस प्रोसेस ए अकाउंट विच इज एट थाउजेंड रुपीज नाउ वी कैलकुलेट प्रॉफिट ऑन ट्रांसफर प्राइस वी अज्यूम ट्रांसफर प्राइस दैट इज हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड प्रॉफिट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑन ट्रांसफर प्राइस सो ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ हंड्रेड रुपीज इज रुपीज ट्वेंटी सो द कॉस्ट प्राइस इज एटी रुपीज नाउ वी कैलकुलेट प्रॉफिट ऑन द कॉस्ट प्राइस अवर कॉस्ट इज एट थाउजेंड एंड प्रॉफिट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट प्राइस विच इज ट्वेंटी बाई एट्टी सो इन प्रोसेस ए अवर प्रॉफिट इज टू थाउजेंड रुपीज वी डेबिट द प्रॉफिट विद द हेल्प ऑफ टू प्रॉफिट एंड इन द प्रॉफिट कॉलम वी राइट टू थाउजेंड नाउ वी टोटल द डेबिट साइड दैट इज एट थाउजेंड टू थाउजेंड इज अवर प्रॉफिट and the total amount is 10000 now the balancing value is transferred to next process so here the balancing value is by process b account this is our balancing value our cost is 8000 adding profit of 2000 on transfer price which is Ten thousand rupees. So when we prepare process B account, first we have to transfer this amount in process B on debit side to process B account. Sorry, to process A account. Amount in the cost column eight thousand, adding profit of two thousand. Total amount which is transferred from process A account is ten thousand. now we write the additional expenses or the expenses related to process b account which comprises of material costing rupees 6000 and labor costing rupees 4000 our prime cost here is 18000 this is our prime cost 2000 is our profit and total 20000 now again we subtract the closing stock and the total closing stock here is 4000 now first we have to calculate the cost of closing stock our amount of closing stock is 4000 and total prime cost is 20000 multiplied with cost of prime cost which is 18000 rupees so the cost element in this closing stock is 3600 3600 in the cost column and the difference amount is written in the profit column which is 400 now we subtract the closing stock from the prime cost to get the cost of this process account which is 14400616000 now we calculate profit and profit is profit here is 20% on transfer price so our profit element is cost is 16000 and when we calculate profit on cost price we multiply with 20 and divided by 80 so in this process our profit element is 4000 rupees we write profit in the profit column now total of debit side comprises of 14400 5000 sorry 
फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड इन द प्रॉफिट कॉलम एंड टोटल इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड इन द क्रेडिट साइड टू फाइंड आउट द बैलेंसिंग वैल्यू एंड द बैलेंस वैल्यू इज ट्रांसफर टू प्रोसेस सी अकाउंट बाय प्रोसेस सी अकाउंट कॉस्टिंग फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड एडिंग प्रॉफिट ऑफ फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड द टोटल अमाउंट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड फर्स्ट वी राइट द एंट्री ऑन द डेबिट साइड टू प्रोसेस बी अकाउंट कॉस्टिंग फोर्टीन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड प्रॉफिट फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड एंड द टोटल अमाउंट इज ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड now we add the expenses that are related to this process account which includes two material 2000 rupees and labor cost 8000 rupees so here the total prime cost comprises of 24400 this is our prime cost profit is 5600 and the total amount 30000 now we deduct the closing stock from the prime cost and here the closing stock amount is 6000 rupees first we have to calculate the cost of closing stock to find out the cost element and the profit element in the closing stock the total amount of closing stock is 6000 Divided by total prime cost, which is thirty thousand, multiply with cost of prime cost, which is twenty four thousand four hundred. That does not exist any profit element to find out the cost of closing stock. So here, cost of closing stock is four thousand eight hundred eighty rupees. Four thousand eight hundred eighty in cost column and the difference amount. By deducting four thousand four hundred eighty from six thousand rupees, our profit element is one thousand one hundred twenty. When we deduct closing stock, we get total cost of this process, which is nineteen thousand five hundred twenty, four thousand four hundred eighty, and twenty four thousand is our total cost. Now we calculate profit on this total cost. to profit and the profit is calculated on cost price so 24000 into 20 by 80 so the profit here is 6000 rupees now we enter the amount of profit in the profit column which is 6000 debit side total is Nineteen thousand five hundred twenty in the cost column, adding profit of ten thousand four hundred eighty, and the total amount is thirty thousand. Nineteen thousand five hundred twenty, ten thousand four eighty, and thirty thousand. Now the balancing value of process C is transferred to finished stock account by finished stock account. costing 19520 adding profit of 10480 and the total amount is 30000 now we uh, prepared the finished stock account first we have to write the amount which is transferred from process c account to process c account costing 19520 adding profit of 10480 and the total amount is 30000 because it is a finished stock account so there is no expenses related to this account only we have to do is adjustment of closing stock we did a closing stock and the total closing stock is 4000 first we have to calculate the cost of closing stock and the cost of closing stock is 4000 is our closing stock divided by 30000 into 
19,520. So the cost element here is 2603 which we have to write in the cost column and the difference amount of 4,002603 which is the profit element which is 1397. Now we deduct this closing stock. Our cost is 16,917 adding profit of 9,083 and the total amount is 26,000. Now there is no information here to calculate the profit on finished stock account but the sales is given. So first we have to see the sales. Here the sales is 36,000. Now first we have to write the entry of sales or debit the sorry credit the sales by sales with the amount of 36,000 in total column again 36,000 and on debit side 36,000. Now the goods costing rupees 26,000 is sold out at an amount of 36,000 it means the company earned a profit of 10,000. So our profit element here is 10,000 we write in the profit column with the entry to profit now first we total the debit side costing 16,917 our profit is 19,083 and total amount is 36,000. Now we write in the credit side also costing 16,917 and the profit is 19,083. 917 and 19,008. 3 is our profit of after these three processes by adding profit on the transfer price. So friends in this video first we calculate the profit then we prepare the process accounts in inter process profit. So friends if you like this video share this video and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much have a nice day.